I had been wanting to do a story about um, uh, uh, alien genes and alien hybrids and uh, the idea that there were scientists who were using this material from uh, um, aliens that had been collected or recovered or salvaged uh, and uh, trying to mix them with, with uh, human DNA. And so uh, for the first time, I think we have Scully in a situation where she has a scientist, someone like herself, a doctor, say to her, you're looking at something that is essentially uh, extraterrestrial. And it's a big, big moment for her. The address of the uh, storage facility where Mulder finds these tanks with these bodies in solution uh, is, I believe, 1616 Pandora, which, to be honest, is the actual address of the uh, the warehouse that we used. I uh, had come up with an elaborate address that had some kind of strange significance to genetics, and we got to the, uh, the location, and they said, so we, you want us to paint a sign for this uh, place, and it's supposed to say this, this, and this. And I said, no, you know, I think that 1616 Pandora is actually a better uh, uh, address. Uh, it was an opening of Pandora's box in a way, so I thought it was uh, very useful. The Erlenmeyer flask, uh, which is the season ender for uh, for year one, uh, was something that I had thought about all year long. I think that it was an episode that uh, really, I feel, established uh, a mythology, what the government may be up to, how they may be in cahoots with the aliens. Uh, for me, it was the result of a year-long learning experience, and I think that it may have been uh, really the uh, signature mythology uh, episode, not only a, uh, a sign to the audience of what we were capable of, but uh, certainly uh, a realization for me um, of where we could take the show uh, if we uh, explored uh, these different uh, avenues of government conspiracy and turn it into more than just uh, uh, flying saucers. It became about uh, mankind and, and, if, and about uh, um, um, uh, science and uh, the uh, misuse of it. <laughs>